So what happens whenever they want you to find the height of a trapezoid when they give you the area and they give you two of the bases? All you have to do is take the information that they give you and plug it into the formula. A equals one half of base one plus base two times the height. We plug in all of the information that we know into the formula and then we just work backwards. So instead of an A, I'm gonna put a 95 in its spot. I'm gonna keep the one half and in the place of base one, I'm gonna put a seven. In the place of base two, I'm gonna put a 12. And then I'm gonna multiply it by the height. So 95 is one half of seven plus 12, which is 19 times the height. Then I'm gonna take half of 19. In order to do that, all you do is 19 divided by two. If I have one, can I make a group of two? No, so you put a zero there. If I have 19, can I make groups of two? All you have to do is use your multiplication facts and determine how many groups of two can you make to get as close to 19 without going over. So if I have one group of two, I only have two. If I have two groups of two, I have four. If I have three groups of two, I have six. If I have four groups of two, I have eight. If I have five groups of two, I have 10. Uh-oh, I went over. I can't go over. See, we keep going because we can't go over. So then we have six groups of two, which is 12, seven groups of two, which is 14, eight groups of two, which is 16, nine groups of two, which is 18, and 10 groups of two, which is 20. Now I went over. I don't need the 20, so I'm gonna go back one group to 18. It took me nine groups of two to make 18. So I'm gonna put a nine above the nine and the 18 below the 19. So I had 19 and I utilized 18, which means that I have a remainder of one. Because I have a remainder, I'm gonna go ahead and put a decimal and I'm gonna bring down a zero. Remember, you can no longer have remainders. We have moved on to decimals, in which case you just bring down as many zeros as you need in order to have very little remainders or no remainder at all. So if I have 10, can I make a group of two? So I can make one group, I can make two groups, I can make three groups, I can make four groups, I can make five groups, I cannot make six groups because 12 is too much. So I'm gonna go back one group. It takes me five groups of two to get 10. If I had 10 and I subtract 10, now I have nothing remaining. Therefore, I no longer have to bring down any zeros. So half of 19 is nine and a half. So 95 is nine and a half H. So nine and a half times something has to give me that 95. So instead of multiplying by nine and a half, I'm gonna divide both sides of my equation by nine and a half. So then I'm gonna to go top in, bottom out top, in, bottom, out. When you're dividing by a decimal, your divisor is a decimal, you have to turn that decimal into a whole number. So here, in order to turn into a whole number, I'm gonna multiply it by 10. When I multiply it by 10, that's gonna move that decimal one place to the right. I'm gonna do the same thing to the number on the inside. I'm gonna move that decimal one place to the right, and then I'm gonna bring it up to the top and I'm gonna let it hang out. In this empty spot, now I'm gonna put a zero. If I have nine, can I make a group of 95? No, I do not have enough. If I have 95, can I make a group of 95? I can make exactly one group. If I had 95 and I make a group of 95, that means that I have nothing left. So because this remainder is zero, this zero is gonna go straight up to the top. So, 95 divided by 9.5 is 10. So the height of this trapezoid is 10 meters.